What an exciting few months it's been. As we near the end of our second program in London, we reflect on how much the insurtech landscape has shifted in just one year. Last year, the insurance industry experienced many eruptions caused by new market entrants wanting to change the way insurers interact with their customers and do business. This year, through collaboration and focused engagement, a bridge is gradually being built to connect two complementary worlds. Engagement became the clear theme on this year's cohort. A handful of startups are now working together to strengthen their offerings for the insurance market, as well as collaborating with some of our alumni. This spirit of camaraderie weaves through our startups in fun ways as well. We have enjoyed late night pizzas and team dinners where we unwind over nice red wines and delicious tapas. We make a relentless effort to challenge and inspire each other. And by doing so, we have created an atmosphere of sharing, creativity and trust. At Startup Bootcamp, we often get approached by disruptive ventures. We also see early stage insurtechs maturing on their growth and collaboration journeys. These brilliant entrepreneurs are fusing the traditional and the new to shape intelligent insurance. Some of our alumni are closing Series A rounds right now. They continue to work and partner with major players. Meanwhile, our current cohort focuses its effort on how to tell their unique stories on one of the biggest and most important days of their entrepreneurial lives thus far. And one thing is for certain, as we empty this space later today, these entrepreneurs will continue to put a dent in the universe as they passionately create solutions for the insurance market they care for. Since we graduated from SBC, uh, loads has happened. We've raised six million from a fantastic investor, uh, White Mountains Insurance Group, uh, and we've grown our team from five to 25 people. And since then, we've really had our heads down and been working really hard on making sure that we actually deliver on our vision, which is to provide a much better home insurance experience for our customers. And um, what we do is, with BuzzVault, we provide the glue or the platform to bring the insurers and the customers together to ensure that they're more in a partnership and partnership really is the key here. At Now for Cover, we believe the future of insurance is digital and personalised. We've already built the digital product, we just need data to make it fully personalised. And that's why we love partnering with Buzzful. They add the data to our fully personalised product. It's a bit like adding the autopilot facility to the Tesla car. Together, they're an insanely great product. So working together like this really uh, delivers that magic formula that's needed to create the synergy to reimagine insurance in such a way that we can deliver to uh, today's customers' expectations. address the opera singer in the room. Right now, a meerkat is having you all for breakfast. Because no less than 57% of UK insurance customers are thinking of switching provider this year. And that's because these days, UK customers have been trained to compare. go compare. And the problem with that is that customers tend to compare and price alone because they see insurance as a generic commodity. This is making it harder and harder for insurance companies to differentiate themselves and margins are being squeezed year after year. This presents us with an uncomfortable truth. There are so many smart people in this industry and yet the guys who are winning the race are an opera singer, a meerkat, and this guy. It's true. <laughs> and I think we can all agree that this cannot go on forever. So it's time to say goodbye to this guy. <laughs> 
In the movie The Matrix, the hero of the story, Neo, has a very important choice to make. He can choose the red pill and continue going as he is, or he can choose the blue pill and take on reality. Now, you may well be thinking, what on earth does The Matrix have to do with the insurance industry? Well, quite a lot, actually, because you guys are the Neo in this story. You have a very important choice to make over the next few years. You can choose the red pill and keep on going as you are. Or you could choose to embrace this new digital reality and win back the customer. And to do that, we need to redesign insurance from the ground up. We've got to stop seeing insurance as a generic commodity, a piece of paper with a policy written on it. If we want our customers to be loyal and to stop shopping around, then we need to start building genuine partnerships with customers. And I'm not just talking about moving from product centricity to customer centricity. Because I think you know, most insurance companies these days do actually put the customer at the center of what they do. I'm talking about taking a giant leap forward and moving to customer partnerships. So what do I mean, customer partnerships? And why do we care? Well, I like to define customer partnerships as a shared journey between two parties to build a future that is better than it would have been had they gone it alone. So it's not just about putting the customer first or having amazing customer service, all of which, of course, is essential. It's about having an open enough relationship so that you can anticipate what your customer needs before they even know they need it. So three very important characteristics of a happy, functional partnership are trust, transparency, and loyalty. So how is the industry faring right now? Well, let's break it down. Only 20% of UK insurance customers fully trust their insurer. That's crazy. And it's exactly this kind of mistrust that the Meerkat feeds on. We have got to change the perception in this industry from being this kind of big brother to being this kind of big brother. You have your customers backs, but they really need to know it. If your customers do not trust you, they're not likely to be transparent with you either. But what is worse is that a staggering one in three Britons has committed insurance fraud. So have a look at the person on your left. Now look at the person on your right. One of them may be a fraudster. Or is it you? Just saying. Look, for a partnership to work, transparency has to go both ways. So what about loyalty and retention? Well, unfortunately, the statistics here aren't great either. Because it costs the industry the customer churn costs the industry no less than 470 billion globally a year. 470 billion. It's a lot of money. And things may be about to get worse because now the new FCA rules are coming into force, which means you can't even rely on the sleepers to auto renew anymore. So I know I'm making this all sound a little bit mission impossible, but it's not all doom and gloom because technology will provide us with the tools that we need to bridge the gap between the customer and the insurer. And that is exactly what we've been doing with Buzzvolt. One year ago, I stood here on this stage, um, demo day 2016, and I pitched my heart out, following which we got a six million investment from an amazing organization who truly believes in our vision. That insurance should be better it should be so much better. It should be a partnership. Now, since then, we've grown our team from five to 25 people, and we've built something amazing, which I'm really very excited to share with you today. Buzz Vault is a real-time digital asset vault where customers store and protect all of their belongings. It also provides insurers with the digital glue that they need to connect and partner with their customer. And this is how it works. You launch the app, 
and then you start a real-time video survey with one of our surveyors. Show us around your home, and we will do all the hard work for you. Once the survey is complete, all of your data automatically appears in your personal vault, together with an accurate valuation of everything you own. These are real-time values, so they go up and down as time goes by. It's very easy to add new items, receipts, photos. This is a real-time portfolio of your material wealth. And with all this data in place, you can now ensure exactly what you want from your preferred insurer from a small panel of select partners. Choose to share your data to get the best possible deal for you at the right price and at the right level of cover. We've also made it really easy for insurance companies to cross-sell their products and to communicate with a customer. Now you can build a meaningful partnership with your customer. This is retention on steroids. BuzzVault is secure because we've built it on blockchain. It is private because we have smart contracts in place which allow customers to permission the use of their data. And this is just the beginning, because we are building BuzzVault to be the data sharing platform of choice. And of course, we'll be putting all of this rich data to work using the latest AI and machine learning techniques. Last, but certainly not least, we've made it easy for insurance companies to partner with us. No overhaul of uh, legacy systems required, it's just plug in and go. I'm going to leave you with one final choice to make. You could choose to not genuinely engage with the startups that you see here today. But you could be missing out on a pretty big opportunity. Or you could choose to embrace this new digital reality, which sees startups, incumbents, and customers working together in perfect synergy. Choose the blue pill. Partner with us. And together, we can beat the meerkat and win back the customer. Thank you. <laughs> so I have a few questions for you. So okay. You talk about insurers, you talk about customers, true engagements, right? Mm -hmm. And also about smart technology. So What's next for BuzzVault? And some people, I'm sure, are wondering what's happened to BuzzMove. Uh, so in terms of next steps, uh, we're ready and open for business. So we're already piloting with two insurance companies, and we have space for another three insurance companies on our panel. So if you would like to talk to us, you're interested in working with us, then please do come to us. We've got a table in the VIP area. Uh, we're all dressed in neo-black, so we're quite conspicuous. Uh, and we'd be very happy to demo our product for you. Uh, in terms of BuzzMove, BuzzMove is just a small part of our overall vision. BuzzMove is like a built-in customer acquisition channel. So when people move, we then catch them at that point in the journey, and we turn them into BuzzVault customers. Thank you, Becky. So 12 months, an amazing investor, a new product development on the way. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So I look forward to seeing what the next 12 months will bring. Thank you. Let's give another big round of applause to Becky Downing from BuzzVault. Thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Startup Bootcamp, IntroTech London 2017 Demo Day. I'm Sabine van der Linden. I run Startup Bootcamp London, and I am very excited to have so many of you in the room. I was told by my team that we had 1,100 people registered. We have now 700 people in the room, more than last year. So welcome to you all, and I hope we have put a great show for you this afternoon. So did you know that Justin Timberlake did a concert on this stage just a few months ago? So I decided to give him a call and say to him, I'm organizing an event, it's an insurance event, do you think I should go to Indigo? I said, well, great place, but insurance. I said, well, Justin, you're investing in startups, so tell me. Well, he said it's a great place. Anyhow, I tried to invite him as well, but he had prior engagement, so he promised to follow us 
on our Facebook-like feed. Anyway, let's come back to reality. So time passes by very fast. Startup Bootcamp in Tech launched 18 months ago. In 2014, we were approached by a number of insurers asking us to set up an InsureTech program just for them. In 2015, we launched the program. In 2016, we had our first demo day with nine amazing startups. We celebrated them then. And quite a few of them are here in the room today to actually support the 2017 cohort. So thank you guys for being here. I would like also to thank our partners. We have amazing partners at Startup Bootcamp. They actually spend a lot of time helping the startup refine their propositions. And at the same time, there's an exchange where the partner also gain ideas for the innovation agenda they are working on. This morning, I was on email with Derek Smith from Lloyds Banking Group, and he agreed for me to share this with you. With the work we have done with Lloyds Banking Group and many of our partners, we have been able to share new technology, new business models, and helping them to understand emerging customer needs. And today, the group is working with three startups designing an amazing new home product. Last year, I was on this stage, and the theme of that event was experience the eruption. What we wanted you to acknowledge is that there are fast-paced new startups coming to the market. I believe that there are around 1,500 InsurTech startups today. We at Startup Bootcamp, we believe there are many more because we work against our partners' challenges. This year's theme is synthesis. We want you to acknowledge the collaborative spirit and bridges being built between startups and corporate insurers, two complementary but often seen as diverging worlds because of way of working, way of solving problems, and speed of execution. But we believe that when both worlds come together, we can shape intelligent insurance. We see a lot of startups coming through Startup Bootcamp, and here are just a few logos of those startups which we've seen or heard of. Those guys didn't exist two to three years ago. And the innovative spirit uh, you know, we see amongst those organizations is moving faster than we have ever seen it before. The digital technologies we see as well coming from those organizations is amazing, but of incredible impact on customers, on businesses, and on cities. All of them have probably three themes we see on a regular basis coming through. They want to empower the customer with new consumption models. They want to design new products and services, and I would focus here on the services part of the equation. And lastly, they want to optimize the insurance value chain. We also have discovered that new competitive entrants are coming to the market and those are potentially coming from adjacent industries, such as prop tech, agri-tech, legal tech, and med tech. And you are going to meet some startups today which have some of those themes. We at Startup Bootcamp, we aim to build a global interconnected ecosystem. And we already have a number of programs out there around fintech, med tech, mobility, IoT, smart cities, in nine cities which aim to actually just do that. And all those themes actually have an importance and impact on the insurance landscape. And I can promise you there is more to come. When you look at our global footprint, we now have 19 programs in 14 cities. We have delivered 50 demo days, and some of the entrepreneurs coming to work with us at Startup Bootcamp come from at least 50 nations. We have graduated 416 startups since 2010. Each startup has raised, on average, $865,000. The full portfolio now 
has raised $240 million, and we have done that with 140 corporate partners. So let's go back to insurance. We have looked at the portfolio. There is probably 100 startups within our portfolio, which, is re which are relevant for insurers. And when we look at our insurtech focused portfolio, they have a valuation now of around $100 million. When you look at the full startup bootcamp portfolio, I was told by Andy, it's around now $1 billion, And we focused on B2B startups, so it's not bad. So what do we do? We first empower entrepreneurs to design sustainable business models. We then enable corporates to achieve the result by focusing on the target, the most, the most important uh, metrics within their innovation efforts. And we do that with startup focused on B2B because those are the startups which can work with corporates through trusted relationships. So our goal at Startup Bootcamp is to connect members within our networks. That means partners, mentors, insurers, help them share knowledge and expertise and hopefully find the right alumni within our network and the innovation which can help them with their change initiatives. So it's time to welcome our 10 startups, plus one with your startups in residence, on stage. So first, the plan for this afternoon. We are going to see six startups with proposition ranging from commercial line, health and big data. We'll then have a 30-minute break then we welcome Thomas Olivier, head of sharing economy and emerging practices at La Maif, who is going to share with us some views on how the sharing economy can impact insurance. Then we'll welcome farm startups with themes aligned to that specific theme. Then we will welcome you to, into the marketplace we've built for you down below, where you will be able to network with the startups over drinks and nibbles. So now I welcome on stage Elisa Grasso, CEO of the InsurTech program. We'll welcome each individual startup on stage. Thank you.